All right, in fits and starts, now people wondering, are these latest signs of a recovery in real estate real, a jump in existing home sales, topping off a week of strong housing data. But housing analyst Jason Meister says home buyers getting loans 3% down could drag this market down and interrupt a good thing. Greg Rand says this is the start of a boom. So, Jason, you're not as confident. Why not? We had, uh, after the housing bust, we had prices go up way too fast, Neil. And, you know, if you look not at... In my neighborhood. <laughs> If you look at what's going on in the world right now, we have deflation in Europe, and I'm not talking about deflate gate, I'm talking about actual okay. deflation. Um, and you had prices that would just be propped up by investors, by institutional investors, and you had mom and pop investors. Right. People think they're going to make a, a lot of money on buying houses, and the government was really propping it up. And there's interest rates were historic lows, which they are right now. So housing, people were buying houses left and right, and that's not what we have now. So that's where we are. So we're just sputtering. Correct. Best we can do. Greg, you don't buy that. Why not? No, not at all. I'm in the middle of this for the last several years, my whole adult life, actually. But in the last several years, we're, we're well into a recovery. The last couple of years um, that the home prices popped, that was catching back up, um, making for an overcorrection that happens during the bus time. So we're out there buying houses all across the country for holding for rentals. And Every single purchase we do, we have to wind up paying 97 to 99 percent of asking price because of how competitive it is out there. So you're, so the seeing, the housing mark, you're seeing the housing market gaining traction now and the things are going to pick up. So what kind of percentage gains are we looking at, do you think? In, in home prices? Yeah. Uh, it, it's right where it should be, someplace between 3 and 5 percent a year, maybe 2 and 5 percent a year. That's where it belongs. When you see a pop of more than that, there's going to be some other explanation for that. And like I said, last couple of years, it will be three crazy and five percent. Yeah, Neil, but we saw 12 percent year over year in 2013. So yes, that was catch-up time. It's though. getting healthier, but it's it's it went up way too fast. But what do you think of what he just said? That was catch-up time because a lot of these have been depressed and battered so much. Obviously, it would seem like a bigger percentage when you look at that. I think that's true, except I'm, I'm still nervous that it went up too fast, too I quickly, see. and they have to reset. The prices have to come down. It's not the cost of borrowing. It's the price of the home. And it's the appraisal of that home. I mean, so the, isn't that still a problem? In a lot of communities, the appraisal doesn't match the, the generous there's, hopes there's of the There's still seller. dodgy appraisers. Yeah. But the government's been meddling in the housing market for Why way too long. Why is that a long. bad thing? Look at the commercial real estate market. There was no intervention there, and it got back. In 2010, it was back to its, to a, to its, you know, to its regular level and healthy level. Housing is still recovering, and we're... So the less the government years. does, the better. The less the government does, the better. Greg, do you agree with that? Do you agree with right that? Now. That the government is yeah, just going to complicate think this? The, yeah, the recovery that we're having has not been because of the government's meddling. The government meddling is what caused the bubble in the first place, and they've been trying to play some, um, trying to alleviate some of the pain associated with foreclosures. But the truth is, all of these things that are happening in the market, people talk about rates going up, people talk about millennials staying in their parents' basement, smoking pot, and not getting a real job and going out and buying a house. All these things are storms on the surface, potentially, but they do not change the the real fundamental driver but, of housing demand, which is Greg, population growth. But Greg, uh, President Obama on uh, the State of the Union is now talking about 3% down payments again. He's talking yeah. about Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac back loans, FHA reducing the insurance. These are all, his policies are tripling down on failed housing policies. He wants to get the first time home buyer off the sidelines, and that's what he thinks is going to stimulate the market. You can't yeah, legislate, doing... you cannot legislate the housing market. You can't legislate. You need the business. free market to work, percolate on itself, and that's how the free it market is. works. It's not and working the point. properly. I've been in this business. It's working fine right now. I've been in this business 30 years. There's been 3% down mortgages every day of those 30 years. What we can have them do is what the real damage was last time around, which was giving people who could afford a $200,000 loan a $400,000 blank check. That's what drove the prices up, and the correction after that was simply a correction of inflated well, bottom prices. Line, so, bottom line, you're confident things have stabilized, will pick up. You have your doubts in the meantime just because. I think the free market needs to work itself out. All right, guys, thank That's you both. That's what's happening right now. All right, thank you both. Uh, right now, uh, run where you, where you want to run, guys.